Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today uh, I'm going to bring to you the favorites, the products that I've been reaching for the most and loving the most throughout this month of April, but I'm going to believe it's already coming to an end even though it's sounding so redundant. So without further ado, let's get this things out of the way, which is skincare. So first things first, I'm, this comes in a combo, if you will, but uh, I had, uh, you know, I haven't been having the most savings as of lately since I have. I don't have a steady job, so I went back to using Olay and whatnot, and this, my skin was getting drier and drier. So I decided, finally, I decided that I needed to, if I needed to splurge in something and, um, you know, save up some cash for something, it was to get a good moisturizer because I started to see fine lines on my forehead and whatnot and it was really terrifying you know because I'm not that old so without further ado I went to the I went to a beauty store uh, here in Spain and I was about to you know I did a lot of research online and whatnot and I was about to grab the super balanced uh, dramatic no the clinic dramatically different moisturizing moisturizing lotion you know the, the Tikal one that one that comes in the three steps and the girl there at the at the beauty store uh, she was like uh, but what are you using the three-step system? And I was like, no, no, I just wash my face with my cellar water and some Cetaphil and whatever, you know? And she was like, no, you don't need that. What do you want? What is that you, the, that you need for your skin? And I told her point blank, well, what I need, what I want is something that's gonna moisturize the heck out of my skin. Because lately I've been adding, you know, directly into my skin, rose hip oil, argan oil, all kinds of heavy duty stuff and still it drinks it up it's getting dry 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 real dry and she was like okay so what you need is this and she you know there were more expensive products but i didn't want to. so for 30 euros she gave me this one she gave me she sold me this one which is the clinic moisture surge moisture surge extended thirst relief so it's for dehydrated skin actually so at first this is this gel cream consistency. I've been using this for half of the month. I didn't get it at the beginning. I got halfway through the month. And I have to say at first I was a little bit skeptical, you know, like I'm not seeing any results. You know, my skin feels as dry as it used to. But right now, two weeks in the way, you know, you, you know using this on the AM and the, on the PM, I've started to notice that the fine lines are starting to disappear again as they should and then my skin's feeling plumper, healthier and not as tight and as dry as it was feeling and I always had a combo skin and right now my skin was all super dry. So this is bringing my skin a little bit back to life. So this is a favorite of mine. Which brings me to my next favorite. I always emphasize um, the importance of wearing a good SPF. If not all over your vat or all over your body, at least you have to apply a good SPF on your face if you don't want to have marks, you know, sunburns, uh, sun marks, sunspots, and whatnot. So, uh, lo and behold, I went to the pharmacy and I grabbed this La Roche Posay. You know, I was going to grab, you know, a moisturizer, an SPF on a cream, like they always had. And this year they have this aerosol one which uh, it's SPF 50 and this is anti-shine, let's just add it, I haven't, I just apply the makeup there, now I have the SPF on my face, see this is really convenient, so the girl at the pharmacy knows me and knows that I wear makeup and whatnot and she was like well it's not really convenient to add some so many extra steps to, <clears throat> now I'm swallowing this, to your foundation and whatnot and she presented me this, you know, this is the new thing of this year, of this season. It's still a bit daring price, you know, it was 12 euros, um, but it has an SPF of 50. So, as you can see, you go with your moisturizer and whatnot. And if anything, you know, for instance, I go on a hike, you know, early in the morning. So, I don't even bother to apply moisturizer because, you know, this is a pretty penny and you know, afterwards, you know, after I come from a hike, I'm gonna 
get a shower and whatnot, so I don't want to throw this away. So I just roll out of bed, wash my face, and then I spray with an SPF, I go for a hike, and then I move on with my day and apply moisturizer or whatnot. On the other hand, I just apply some moisturizer, do my makeup routine or whatever, and the last step that I do is apply the SPF on top of it. As you can see, it sits in this and you are, um, you know, protected for the sun with just this mist and it doesn't do anything wrong for your makeup, so there's that. Transitioning, because you know, I have, I am on a huge kick of MAC Velvet Teddy, so I'm gonna show it to you. This has been a favorite of mine. As you can see, this is starting to go, you know, I'm starting to run low, this is how much I use it. And a favorite of mine that I hauled recently has become the surprising, uh, the surprise from Primark, which is this pencil liner, lip liner, and it is the perfect shade to Velvet Teddy. It's like a Velvet Teddy dupe. If you can see, can you see the difference? It's ever so slightly. So this was one Euro 50 at Primark, this liner. And I have come to find lately that instead of lining my lips and then applying the lipstick, if you want a super sleek look and whatnot, what I do first is apply the lipstick straight out of the bullet and then I go, you know, and I clean the corners with the lip liner and it gives a world of difference, so there's that. This has been a favorite of mine. As you probably have seen over the past videos, uh, pink has been a favorite of mine as well, you know, spring, sprung, whatnot, and I still am on the nudish side and whatnot. It's not like I changed so dramatically like it did last year that by this time I was wearing coral and whatnot, but again, the color of my hair changed, so I think that makeup uh, changed a little bit as well. So now I can rock easier uh, the pinks, you know, and I've been really digging this. And the one that I'm wearing today is Tea and Cookies from the from NYX, from the Liquid Suede collection. This is a liquid lipstick, it's matte. It's really beautiful, as you can see, you have probably seen it on numerous videos, and a glossy one because I'm even though there's this matte trend, you know, some days I am a little bit over the matte trend and I want some gloss, some life back to my lips. And I've been grabbing on and off and uh, whatnot this uh, color from Rimmel, this Oh My Gloss in the color Pretty in Pink. Let me just swatch it for you. Why didn't I swatch the other one here? So this is Pretty in Pink. As you can see, it's not opaque. This is a gloss. It's not it's not a liquid lipstick or anything, it's just a gloss. So if you want if you want full coverage, you have to apply a lipstick underneath or whatever. And this is a liquid lip, and this is tea and cookies from NYX. Next up, mascara. I'm gonna, you know, I have many mascaras on rotation and whatnot, but I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I am already running low on this and it's not even, it's, it hasn't been, been that long ever since I started using it. This is a Max Factor Masterpiece Transform, it's a mouthful of words, which is the uh, equivalent to the CoverGirl Super Sizer one. Here you can see the famous wand and whatnot. And this is a mascara that I'm wearing today and that I'm wearing almost every single day when I'm not wearing the carbon black mascara and whatnot uh, from L'Oreal as well. And I really love this mascara and there's this offer online so I figure I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some more, you know, because right now they're at the five euro point mark price and it's really affordable because I paid full price for that. So there's that. Another favorite of mine, again, it's this LA Girl concealer in the color Classic Ivory that at first, you can see, it's really well loved, you guys. At first I didn't know what to do with this because this, I figured it would be my skin tone and once I swatched it, this is pinky undertone, you know, it's peachy, it's peachy undertone and it was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off on my face, what did I do, what, what's, this is so wrong. And then one day I decided just to apply it, you know, on my under area and it cancelled beautifully the blue undertones and the, you know, the purpley undertones and whatnot that I had on my under eye circles. And ever since then, you know, I've been grabbing it like, you know, without giving it a thought and whatnot. Next up, as an altogether product, you know, something a little 
you've probably seen it on my makeup bag because this is the only thing that I took with me and whatnot for contouring slash bronzing slash even if you want to take it further to add to use as um, blush and whatnot Benefit Dallas this color you guys I haven't had this for very long but it's already it's already beat up you know this is how much I use it because I will use the same brush they provide you and I will contour my nose a little bit then I contour my three area you know my face I bring it on the chin down the neckline and then I turn the brush this way and then I apply it you know as a little bit of bronzer blusher and whatnot and it's really beautiful this color is really complimentary and I have never given that much thought about it even up till the day you know I decided to swatch it and to use it not only as blush but as bronzer and I thought bronzers had to be neutral you know uh, not bronzers contouring such as Hoola but who knows you know I'm liking this warmer better so there's that and talking about warm colors again a favorite of mine has been the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. Uh, this color in here, Summer Yum, and this color in here, Puree. Oh my god. I've been using this on and off and on and off, like, all the time. This would be, this would be really comparable to Cocoa Bear, but you know, it's the convenience that you have it all in the palette and whatnot in here. So yeah, I haven't been using uh, the green one a lot or the purpley ones, but I've been found myself using the peachy ones more than I thought I would. And then this really warm, you know, almost going into orangey brown shades. This have been my ride or die this month. So, so there's that. This completes all the favorite products that I have been reaching for time and again throughout this month of April that is already coming in that it's already coming to an end and I hope you had and I hope you guys have a great day and subscribe if you haven't already give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment let me know what you're thinking have a great day see you in the next one bye